Welcome to Engine Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider the concept of uh, property of uh, symmetry. We have already proved this property. Uh, I would recommend you to watch this uh, video and uh, come back to this. So here, what we are doing is we are solving a numerical on uh, the property symmetry. So as per the definition, what the numerical says is the six samples of the 11 point DFT x of k of length 11 real sequence are given by. So these are the samples and uh, it has been asked to determine the remaining 5 samples. Just look at here, it is 11 point DFT, x of k is of length 11, 6 points are given and the remaining uh, 5 points have been asked. So how do I find that? For that x of n is important. x of n they have said the real. So this point is important. I can make use of the property symmetry if and only if x of n is real. So now we know that x of n is real, I can make use of symmetry. Getting it? So just remember that whenever they give x of n as the 11 samples, then only I could find x of k. But here x of n is not given. They have only said it is real. But the sequence x of n is not given. But still the task is to find x of k. How do I uh, solve this numerical? That is where the concept of the property symmetry comes into picture now. I can make use of that and find the DFT, uh, the, the remaining uh, 5 samples, the DFT of those things. For that, uh, let me just draw one uh, straight line and uh, indicate all the points. They say it is 11 point DFT. So let me indicate them. This is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, I have 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Are they, uh, are they done? Yes. 0 to 10 it makes 11 points. So now I need to find k. What is k? k is nothing but the folding index which is equal to n divided by 2 which is the midpoint. n is 11, 11 divided by 2. What I am going to get? I am going to get 5.5. .5. That means the samples are symmetric about this midpoint 5.5. .5. What does that mean? It's symmetric, being symmetric. Uh, the point that lies left to this point and right to immediate right to this point, these are symmetric, conjugate symmetric. So how we'll just uh, find it? X of 5 is conjugate symmetric with X of 6. Similarly, X of 4 and X of 7. And uh, x of 3 is symmetric, conjugate symmetric with x of 8. And uh, x of 2, here we are left with, x of 2 is uh, conjugate symmetric with x of 9. Am I left anything? Yes, x of 1 is conjugate symmetric with uh, the point x of 10. That's it. So I need not have to find whatever the values are given. From that I can find. So what is the first task to find? First task is to find x of 1. So what will be x of 1? So that will say it. Uh, before that I'll just write down uh, the symmetric property, what it says. x of k is equal to x star of n minus k. So this is the property. And what I'm finding now, I'm finding now x of 1. So I'll put k equal to 1. So it is going to be x star of n, capital N is, in this case it is 11, 11 minus 1, which is 10. So as per this diagram, x of 1 is conjugate symmetric with x of 10. Getting it? What is x of 10? x of 10, it has been given in the numerical itself. So let's see that x of 10 is minus 3.1 plus j point uh, 5.2. So what is its conjugate symmetric? Which is minus 3.1 minus j 5.2. So this is going to be the answer. The only change is I have to change the sign of imaginary part. The real part remains as it is. So this is how I find x of, uh, x of 1 uh, very easily. Similarly, the next point. What is the next point? x of 0 was given, x of 1 we found it, x of 2 is given, x of 3 is given, x of 4 we need to find. x of 4. What is x of 4 going to be? It is going to be x star of n minus k, n is 11, 11 minus 4, it is going to be 7, x star of 7. Just look here, x of 4 is conjugate symmetric with x of 7. What is x of 7? It is minus 4.1 plus j.2, plus j.2 becomes minus j.2, that is the only change. It is uh, minus 4.1 
minus j point two. Is that correct? So just let me check x of uh, three again. It is minus j four point one. Uh, sorry, x of seven. X of seven is minus four point one plus j point two, and it has become minus j point two. That's it. Correct now. So now uh, we have found x of four. What is the next task? X of five is given. X of seven is given. X of six is not given. I need to find x of six. So what will be x of six? X of six is equal to x star of n minus k. So it is eleven uh, minus six five. X star of five. What is x of five? Just go and check. X of five is given as six point five plus j nine. It becomes six point five. Minus j nine. Am I clear enough? X of five was given. Now I would I found x of six as complex conjugate. Six point five minus j nine. Correct. Then what is the next task? X of seven is given. X of eight nine are not given, and uh, that I need to find x of eight. So three points we already found, and two are remaining. That is x of eight. Next. What is x of eight? It is x star of n minus k, eleven uh, minus eight, which is going to be x star of three. What is the answer for this? Let's check out what is x of three. X of three is this. Here it is, five point three minus j four point one. So I I would get five point three plus j four point one. Five point three plus j four point one. So this is the only change. So five point three sign of that remains as it is. And minus j 4.1 would become plus j 4.1. That's it. So that is what x of 8. So I'm left with x of 9. The last uh, sample. What would be x of 9? It is x star of n minus k. That is 11 minus 9. 2 x star of 2. So just go and check what would be x of 2. X of 2 is minus 3.2 minus j uh, 2. That is x of 2. Uh, for this, I need to find the complex conjugate, which is I'm going to get minus 3.2. So it was uh, minus j2. Now it becomes plus j2. So this is the answer for x of 9. Is it correct? Yes, it's right. So this is how I find the remaining five samples of 11 point DFT. So Always remember that not only for this numerical, whenever uh, eight point DFT, ten point DFT, fifteen point DFT, half of the points are given, and to find the remaining half, what we have to do is we have to make use of the symmetry property. What is that symmetry property? Just to indicate one straight line, find the folding index, and make sure that the point that uh, lies left to that and to the immediate right. They are going to be complex conjugate. Similarly, it applies to all the things. So, whatever the remaining half point, they can be found in making use of this property. So, this is a very handy property, and using this uh, trick, I can find the remaining DFTs. Hope the point is clear. If there are any doubts, please let me know them in the comment section. I would definitely answer them. And meanwhile, don't uh, forget to subscribe uh, to our channel NG Classes for more videos on digital signal processing. Thanks for watching.